What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technodip Angular 5 tutorial. So this is part 3 of this video series. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the modules and component in Angular 5 application. Okay, so let's get started. So this is our application that we created in part 1st of this video series. Here you will find 3 folders. Let's extend this source folder, then this app folder. And here you will find app module.ts file, which is nothing but your root module of your application. Okay. As you know that in Angular we have at least one ng module class. So here we have iterate ng module, which is the decorator function, and that's gonna take single metadata object whose properties going to define this module. Okay, so here we have some important properties like declaration, imports, providers, and bootstrap. Let's come to the declaration. So this array consists a list of view classes. In Angular, we have three kinds of view classes: that is, component, directives, and pipes. Okay, so whenever you add your component directive pipe using Angular CLI, then Angular CLI will automatically be listing them here so you don't need to be worried let's come to the second property which is imports so here we are going to list other modules whose exported class is being used by our component templates okay so in our root module we are actually using some other module because it is required by our component template so if we are using browser module app routing module in future we will require more modules like form modules and HTTP module etc so that will be listed here the third property is the providers so here we are going to list our dependency injection providers okay let's suppose in future you have created your services so you just need to mention here okay so that will be accessible in your application as well as the other module that is importing this current app module okay so the fourth property is your bootstrap so here we are going to pass our main application view that is your root component of your application okay so that's going to be bootstrap when your app module going to be bootstrap okay so this is all about your module now let's explain the component okay so as you know that the components are the building block of your application okay so you can take the example of this visual studio code we have the navigation bar the toolbar then this menu bar and then this body section so all of them can be considered as separate component and all of them have uh, different templates and functionalities okay so let's discuss about the component decorator here we are going to pass the single metadata object okay and we have some certain properties like selector template URL style URLs okay there are many more properties if you want to see that then hover on this and just go down here you can see several properties like style URLs, styles, template, template URL, and etc. Okay, so let me show you in the browser. Okay, so this is welcome to Techno Tips. Okay, so this this template is actually coming from this uh, URL app component dot HTML file. Okay, so here we have defined welcome to title. So title is coming from the component. Here we are declare the title as techno tips okay now we are using the style URL so it is coming from the app component dot SCSS so here you can declare your styles okay for inline CSS or inline template you can use the other property like template okay now let me uh, just copy this hello world and I'll just use instead of URL I'll just use the simple the paragraph okay this is called the inline template and let's view in the browser here you can see hello world okay and if you want to use the uh, inline CSS 
you can write paragraph color colon red okay now save it and let's run this browser oh sorry if you are using inline CS uh, inline style then instead of this inline URL just use a styles okay now save it now there you will fi find hello world okay in the red color okay let's remove this control X and let's undo all this and let's come to style.scss and just paste this here okay now again you will see the paragraph is in red color okay so this is how you can use your component and let me add more components okay so use control shift and M to open terminal and just click on this terminal so one of the terminal is already running and you can just click on this plus to open new terminal okay so this is the fastest way to open the new terminal okay so let's add one more component okay first of all let me open this app module.ts okay so as soon as I add one component that will be listed here and the name will be listed here okay let me add component ng generate component and your component name let's say home component okay so this command will actually add the home component but if you want to make it short then use only ng then g for generate c for component and your component name and press enter okay and let's wait a few minutes okay all right so you here you can see the update command and here your home component is added automatically okay and the angular CLI has imported the home component and listed here okay let me add more component and G then G for generate C for component and about okay now enter so you will see automatically that will be added here okay so here about component and then your about component has been imported by angular CLI okay so you don't need to be worried about now now here you can see about component and then home okay so let's go to the home component.ts file so here you will see the selector selected as app home okay so this app home has not been used anywhere okay so let me use into the app app component.html okay so let me remove this paragraph welcome to and let me give the title or remove that okay let's use this app app home element in your in your main root component HTML okay and then open up your about folder and then about HTML and your about component.ts and it has selector app about so I'm again going to use this into uh, this app component.html so there you go now save it so home works and about works so actually we are I'm just going to uh, use actually I have used this uh, about about template 
which is defined in the about component.html here about works and the home templates which is defined in the home component.html and I have just imported that uh, into the app component.html here this is called the nesting of the component actually okay so here you can see the diagram you can use your main component that can host the other component like child component so we have used the home component into that and the about component into our app component templates okay so this is my app component template and we are using the home component and the about component templates okay so I hope you understood this concept uh, let me clear everything and let's come to the about dot about component dot HTML and write something here border one pixel solid red okay and just go to your home component HTML and paste that and let's make it blue and make it home and home okay and just go to your component.html let's give the border border 2 pixel solid and let's say green okay and just remove this and this is our root component alright so we have the root component inside this root component we have app component and home component let's save it and let's see in the browser here you can see the green border is actually displaying the root component and inside that we have home component and about component okay so you can give the padding so that you can padding column 10 pixel so this is your root component and then let me uh, give the border of this uh, about okay and give me padding padding 10 pixel okay just copy that and save it so as soon as you save it then you can see the padding and also give the margin now save it okay so this is about and this is home and this is your root component and let me show you the index the same property I'm going to apply on the index page let's open up this index page here index.html and let's apply into the body okay and let's change the color mm, solid green yellow now save it okay so here you can see the actual output so your yellow color then green is your root component then we in the root component we have home and the about component html this is all about the component and modules so hope you guys like this video and if you like this then give a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching have a great day